Welcome back to another action figure review. In this review, we're going to take a look at a new Marauder Task Force Gunrunners action figure. This figure is actually labeled as Deluxe MTF Black Suit and White Shirt Agency Ops Theodore figure. This is 118 scale Marauder Task Force action figure. That is the word for word description of the figure. But this figure is a great way to obtain a John Wick 118 scale figure because it highly resembles the, the John Wick, the um, Keanu Reeves from the John Wick movie. This is how they are shipped to you. They ship them to you in a yellow envelope, padded envelope. These are offered through their website for $21.99 plus shipping. We will definitely take a look at the figure, the articulation, the head sculpt, and the accessories that it comes with. So but before we get started with that, I wanted to go ahead and show you guys a couple um, inserts that they provide for every order. So you can always pause and read this if you want to. But this says, attention, please use, use care when first posing your figure. Do not force movement or any joint is if it is feels it is a little stiff before you possibly damage the figure. Warm up the joint with uh, a blow dryer or dip in hot water to release the factory production seal. Um, I don't recommend the hot water, but highly recommend the hair dryer. But this is included in the order, and they also included this with their order also. They basically say thank you for your order. They appreciate it. They're good guys. And you have that same attention up there for the uh, warming up the joints. So remember before you even attempt to uh, move them too much to warm up your figure. And here in this paragraph here, it just basically tells you if you're going to excessively use the... Uh, figure play with it you might want to consider gluing on the atta uh, any as uh, attachments like you know um, the little pouches or whatever etc but if you want to pause and read that that's right there for you and uh, you know just glue on your parts before you put them on the figure don't glue the parts to the figure unless you want it to permanently stay there but it's a nice little information for this guy no other company has actually given out that information. You kind of learn it through the community. So let's take a look here we get. So the body here is a black suit agency op figure with a white shirt, black tie. Black, sh uh, black shoes and obviously no head. Because normally when you buy your figures from Marauder Task Force, you can pick out any head you want. There's a variety of different style of color, hair, face designs, and nationalities, male, female. They do have female bodies, but this is a male body. There's a big hole in the back there. If you want to attach something like a sword... Did you offer that? So let's take a look and see where all the articulation on this. So basically, you want it just to very lightly. I can move his arm a tad bit and he starts getting real stiff. So definitely going on. That's going to be a 360 rotation. And this one here barely moves. Uh, his legs do kind of stiff. Yeah, I'm not bending his knees. Then I kind of bend just a tad bit, but I'm going to heat that up. Elbow joints are so, oh man, that's super tight. So let's go ahead and show you guys all you really have to do here. So I want to warm up this hair dryer in the background. So 
so let's head on low heat. You really don't need a lot of high heats. See how much, I mean, that just, I barely even moved it, it was ready to go. So what you wanna do is work the joint around a couple of times. Obviously, still use caution and feel for it. I like hitting it a couple of times. Just to make sure that you know, we get a nice factory breakage of the uh, seal there. And that is really tight. I can now turn the wrist very easily. So, sometimes it may take, the arm does come out very nicely now. I usually only work on one set of, one piece of body part at a time, like an arm or a leg or a neck or a head. I always try to keep the hair dryer moving because you don't want to keep any hot spots in your figure. And then uh, that way it doesn't melt your figure if you have it too high. See, that works perfectly. Just bend my hand, bend my elbow, arm and down. It does have a 360 here. I can't really do that. So we have to do the same thing to this arm to get it moving. It's actually you know, typically going to be a skill that you would obtain. It's a, more of a feel than anything else. It's really hard to explain, but you know you can feel when it's perfect and when it versus it's too hot or too hard. And then obviously if it's too loose, it's just going to flutter around. Yeah, I'm not saying because you don't want to make sure you stretch your little pig that goes into your arm there. But you know, that one's actually perfect. I'm just going to do it just because I'm used to doing it. Do like going over it a second time once I know everything's working because I've repositioned the joint. So, and it seems to be working for me. So, if it works for you, don't change it. You can see there, nice bendable elbow. You can get, I'll give it to him 90 degrees on that arm. 90 degrees on that arm. Did you go out? And they also do rotate 360. Very nice fluent. Now that the joint is warmed up and the factory seal is now broken. So I'm going to hit this area here and see what we can get. Oh yeah, there we go. I mean, that was stiff, guys. Like, he can sit pretty nice. Even though he has a jacket coming down over his leg, his hips there, it separates pretty good. So as you can see, a very nice T crotch there. Nice articulation there at the hips. This is going to be a van fantastic um, John Wick figure. Now I'm going to head, go ahead and, uh, oh, let's do this first. I can get him to go out. Pretty good there. Let's get get up in there. And make sure we have up into the joints there. It can go pretty far. Then again, it hits the jacket. Very nice. 
and like so very cool more I mean, that's all you really need right there so I'm gonna work on this leg first I want to work on this knee and then you see what we get out of the ankle They do have double jointed knees. There is the first joint there. And there's a second. There is like much like a, a ratcheting system on the knees. So if you hear that clicking, it's not that you're breaking it. So and it's kind of a feel thing again, like I said. So you can double joint knee there. Um, but try to bend as close as you can on all your figures. Like grab at the joint. Don't give all that extra leverage. Grab like right here. You know, until you, you know, you play with it a little bit and it'll become, you know, more of a looser feel. And articulation, that is not very loose. So let's hit that ankle again and see where we get. There's rotation there, and I think it hits the pants. So for me, I'm not going to force it. And there seemed to be a pivot. And I'm not sure how much the range is because it's a black figure and I can't really see. So let's finish up with this figure body by doing the other knee and ankle. I get stopped there for some reason. Let me see what I got there. Let's hit that with the heat some more just to be safe. Yeah, see, it just needed just a tad more, more heat. And there we go. Very nice. Okay, so this is the first one we did, right? Yeah. Oh, yeah, there's a nice tilt there. Okay, so that's basically how I heat up my figures. And I do the same thing for Joy Toy too, so if you guys are interested and you do watch those videos, don't even bother anymore. It just seems like even Hasbro is getting the same problem for some reason. I don't know what they're doing differently anymore. But just make it a habit to heat them up. It'll save you a headache and fighting with the company to get a replacement. So that's a cool. Oops. Let's see what we get in the bag here. So we have a little bag. So here is the head sculpt. You can see he has that longer hair. And a unique shaved beard there with that little um, square there. So what I do for the heads, I gotta make sure that I don't blow away any small accessories here. 
that looks like that rifle is in many pieces. I'm going to heat up my the neck point here and that and then attempt to put it on. Let's see what we get here. So just do a straight insert and push hard as you can. That's tight. Okay, that's on pretty tight. So we're gonna hit with the hair dryer again. You hear that? You don't want to hear that. Like that's something that's not good. But lucky in this case, you have a very thick neck joint. It shouldn't break. But you're going to have to keep working that until you can get it free of, you know, the catching the friction. Okay, so just so you know, I'm going to not keep doing that on camera. It'll make for a long video. But you just gotta keep working until you get it to fit nice and snug. And uh, free of uh, that noise. But I don't like this video too, too long. You know what you have to do is take the time to do it. So here is the body and the head assembled. Just this nice figure. Once you get past getting it to, you know, assembled and heating the joints and not breaking them, getting to where you can play with it, it's just amazing. I'll continue working on that, and it worked just as good as his other joints. So you get two weapons for John. I'm calling him John now. Here's his pistol. And then you get a rifle. Now this is the, the frame of the rifle. You have to build it. Um, you have the option of gluing the pieces in like they offer if uh, you want to. But then you can't really customize the rifle too much. Let's see what we got here. Now these are such small parts. You know, this is a 118 scale. This looks to be a clip. I'm gonna figure out which way that goes in. There we go. Yeah, fits pretty snug. Pretty cool. And this we have He's silencer. I'm sorry guys if you can't see that. I mean I can barely hold on to him. Decided to stroll out so we can go ahead and put the barrel. And be careful too, always go try to remain a fluent straight because if you try to wiggle you're gonna bend your gun. Don't wiggle it up and down, side to side. So, so far, that's what we got. And I'm telling you what, it's a nice plastic, and this part's staying in there without any glue. Um, let's see what else we got here. It looks like we have a Ford grip for the gun. Now, this is what's nice about this you can choose to put whatever you want on here. There we go. Now that piece isn't as uh, stuck in place as the other two pieces we just put on. 
pretty nice, right? And then we have, so I believe, we basically have two different style scopes. So we have, uh, oh, this is so small. We have that one. We have this kind of type of scope here. I do like that one a lot better for John Wick. There are two holes there, though. So let's try to put this one on just to see. So that's what that would look like. I do like that better. But just for fun, let's put on the other scope and see what it looks like. If I put this on backwards, guys, I'm sorry because you can't wait to so small here. And this is for, you know, for you guys for review. I'll definitely go back through and fix it make sure it's perfect. See, I don't like that one. But it's really cool to have the extra option to put that on. So I'm going to put this piece back on. That. And this, that does stay in there. The loosest piece is this folded grip here. So I get that to focus better. And that's a awesome weapon. And then we have this. What is this? It's flashlight or maybe a laser sight. Maybe it goes on the front. Could be a flashlight, laser sight, I'm not sure. But we'll see what that looks like. That piece wants to fall out. Um, well, I'm not sure if that goes there or not. So I'm not sure if that's a laser sight, a flashlight, or what that is. I'm going to have to do some research on that. But for me, I do like it like that. So here's our John Wick figure back. Let's see what he looks like with the pistol. Wow. Those hands are stiff. So what we have is gun in his hand, I think. There's no trigger finger there, so... It's not the best fit, I guess. Man, that's super tight. But I did notice like some of the articulation, his hand goes up and down. The wrist, I should say. What does this hand do here? Let's see the toy in that one. pretty much we'll leave it at that for now or we'll be at this all day I'll work on it later see if I can get a better angle there's a charm like with a pistol So let's see, well, hopefully this thing doesn't fall apart. It definitely is going to fit a lot better than the uh, 
rifle bullets or the pistol bullets. So. Yeah, if you start to feel my neck on my figure get loose as I'm actually moving it more. It just needs exercised carefully though. Alright guys, so I don't want this video to get too long. So if you like this video, please subscribe. I really appreciate it. Hopefully this helps you guys to um, decide if you want to buy this figure or add it to your collection and what you need to do to um, get it in working order. So, uh, thank you guys for watching and happy hunting. Keep collecting. I'll see you in the next video.